24th of January 2023. You guessed it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Well, have y'all heard about the backdoor deal to get tanks over in the Ukraine? They're sending tanks Morocco through the Czech. That's how they're doing it. Morocco is supposedly going to get our, our U.S. tanks to replace the ones they're sending over to Ukraine. You got Germany hinting around they may send some too. What does this mean, right? Well, if they're making finally making deals to move these tanks into Ukraine, not American tanks, mind you, what's these countries getting in return for doing it? They're getting American equipment. They're getting our equipment in their countries. Ask yourself, if a war breaks off over there, what's one thing that's going to struggle? Getting all of our equipment over in that area, right? It's going to take a little bit of time to get it, in, you know, get it up and online over. But with these countries getting re our equipment replaced for giving their equipment to Ukraine, we're already putting our equipment in place over there. I've told you, we don't set our chess pieces up not to play the game over there. We're supposedly going to have some big announcement from Putin you know, in the next few days, is he going to say, hey, you know, we're declaring war on you. I don't think he will. I think what's going to happen is he's going to come out and threaten again. If you keep sending this stuff, there's going to be repercussions for it. He has said this from the start, but yet we continuously send offensive weapons over there. Some people say drones aren't offensive. You know, SAM missiles not offensive. Yes, they are. They're offensive. Guys, this is going to heat up over there. Am I going to tell you that we're going to be in this war this week? No, I can't. But I can tell you we are moving a lot of equipment over there. Now, it may not be going directly to Ukraine. It's going to countries around Ukraine for them donating their stuff to Ukraine. Let that sit in for a minute. How is that not? Let me give you a perfect example. Let's say you're in a car with somebody, right? They run into a store, rob it, do all kind of crazy crap in the store, right? You get in just as much trouble as the guy that did it because you were with him, right? You was an accomplice, even if you didn't know nothing was going on. You know, you're still getting in trouble. But yet, we're backdoor dealing these guns and tanks and missiles and all this stuff into Ukraine through other countries. That's what we're doing. Guys, eventually Putin's going to say enough's enough. And he's going he's gonna to lay it out and say, if you, you know, this is it. You've crossed that line. We're, we're going to war. I seen something yesterday about supposedly a, a Russian nuclear ship was off the coast of the United States. It didn't panic me because I figured they're there all the time, you know, not, not every day, but they've probably been there before. You know, it's not their first time there. But guys, this is going to heat up over there. You can't continuously be pumping all these funds into Ukraine and not expect Russia to retaliate for it. You know, we keep hearing there's going to be this major offensive once the ground freezes over. It's the middle of the winter over and they haven't done nothing yet. Major, ground offensive wise. What, what's that mean? I personally, how could the ground freeze all the way down to the ocean? You know, they're not in the Arctic, right? So, I don't know what's going on. Something major is fixing to happen over. You need to be prepared for it. I've told you, if nuclear war is what gets you to prepare and getting prepped up, that's fine. But there's a lot of other things that could happen besides that that you need to be prepped up so you can be prepared when something happens. Guys, we're not hearing a lot on our news about what's going on over. Have you noticed that? The only place we're hearing about it is on channels like this or, or a YouTube news channel that's got coverage on it. All we're hearing over there is Ukraine is just, you know, whipping everybody, gaining back territory, you know, everything's good. But yet, what do we hear the Ukrainian president always saying? We need more money. We need more equipment. And who keeps writing the checks for all this? We do, the American citizens. You know, I've told you, they'll fight over a few hundred dollars to help the American citizens out, but they will not fight over sending money over there or equipment. Guys, think how much equipment that we left over in the Middle East. Think about all that equipment. And now we're sending equipment. Now, why are we sending that equipment? Number one, is it going there so when we do enter it, we have our equipment already there? That's what I'm thinking. Because it takes time to train these people up on how to operate it, how to maintain this equipment. Who, who is doing this inside the Ukraine country? We've got to have people in there that's doing this. People don't understand that. You can't just give somebody something and say, there you go, you know, learn how to use it. No, they've got somebody in there training them. Now, according to what we're hearing, they're not getting trained in Ukraine, you know, Poland, they're going to Poland and getting trained. 
That's the same as training them in Ukraine when you look at the Russian side of you. Guys, this is going to pop off, and it's going to pop off big. When, I don't know, but I do firmly believe we're going to be in this war physically before the end of the year. There's no way around it because we just keep sending more and more stuff over there. Let, think about that now. We're sending, you know, Bradley's, all this kind of stuff over there. Why? We already have the equipment in country when we go in country. We don't have to logistically get everything in there. We're, we're sending it to countries around Ukraine and sending some stuff into Ukraine, right? Our troops know how to operate this equipment. They know how to maintain it. If it does break off and go, you know, big over there and we go in, our equipment's there. We're ready to go with it. We don't have to do a big logistics to get everything over there. Guys, I firmly believe this, this is going to be a major war over there within the year. I really do. I, I see no way around it. We don't send that much money, that much equipment. We're not protecting Ukraine. We're protecting the money we're sending over there. Guys, get prepped up if you haven't. Like this video, share it. We're not getting a lot of views again. I'm not sure what's going on. If you know what's going on, tell me. Is it my videos are just starting to suck or, or what is it? Let me know. But guys, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like or dislike this video and comment on it. I don't know your thoughts on all this. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. You're not safe anywhere in the world anymore as recent events shows us. you got to get out there and start prepping it. And guys, if you're already prepped, keep adding to it. Because I guarantee you, you've got a hole somewhere you need to fill. Stay safe, get prepped up, and hit that subscribe button.